I don't know, when like, you know, they're they're kind of Batman and Robin going around. That's the second one, yeah. That's the second one, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, they, they have something to bond there. I mean, he's still well, he's like, I'm still your master, I'm teaching you. But, hey, Anakin, get over there and do this. And like, and, you know, they're they're working in tandem. It seemed like, like I felt there was a friendship. Okay, that's fair. Um. Yeah, we just have to agree or disagree on that. I, I do, I, like in the movies. <laughs> no, 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 but l- listen, like, listen. Like, wait, 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 you said like, yeah, I hear you. I mean, it's bullshit, but I hear you. <laughs> I, I mean, what you just said was dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we ain't gonna, we're not going to focus on that but right now. I understand will. that you said some words. <laughs> anyway, but... <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm sure you heard by now, Double Toasted is heading out on tour, bringing you a night of comedy, games, and some interaction with the audience out there. Get tickets by going over to DoubleToasted.com or going over to X1 Entertainment. Hey, we'll see you soon. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content, such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. (laughs) But we are talking about uh, another famous, infamous Star Wars film, and that is... Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace came out in 1999. Yeah. Everyone was very excited about it. this. Was um, 16, I want to say 16, nearly 17 years after Return of the Jedi had come out. Mm-hmm. Star Wars was dormant for, 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 for a time, I would say. Although it was revitalized due to certain things. That's, that's the thing about this re- review. I don't. I just don't want to talk about like a lot of the funny scenes. I kind of want to like showcase like what was the setting before this movie had come oh out. well because there was a lot of interesting things for yeah it. they i mean they were if you remember they were throwing news out there mm-hmm. and george lucas every time he was in front of a camera he would say something about it and and they wouldn't show they would, i mean they would show a lot of stills from like when they were shooting sure but like it was just like the talk even before they started shooting now that's what i remember yeah it, it was and, it was, and, it was and, a number and, of things people went Ape shit. That's yep. all I, know. I, I remember a good decade of any time I went somewhere mm. where there were Star Wars nerds or people mm-hmm. who were just fans. He'd be mm-hmm. like, man, I heard a rumor that George Lucas is thinking about starting it back up again. Yeah. I heard he's thinking about writing scripts. Mm. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> year after year. No, he's he's saying that maybe he's going to get it going again. And I was like, would you leave me the alone <laughs> until they're actually shooting? I don't yeah. want to keep hearing about what he might do and what he's thinking of doing. And after 10 years, it was another six before it happened. That's true. I was done. I was like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. He always had the basic ideas for the prequels, but mm-hmm. like really rough stuff. Like mm-hmm. he knew like Anakin turned the dark side, that kind sure. of thing. Obi-Wan was responsible for deforming him and all that. But that was it. And he had the idea of a corrupt old republic. Mm-hmm. That was really it. And then it wasn't until like 1994 when he actually started writing these films. That, that, that's what happened. And then in order to uh, get people interested, he released the special editions, which is how I was exposed to Star Wars for the first time in the theater. I saw A New oh, Hope. Oh, with those awful special editions? Oh, yeah. Now, it, oh, it's, geez. again. There's a whole canon of shit to talk about with those I, two, I, yeah. you know. But. There, there, there's a lot, but to a kid, I was six or seven when I saw those okay, movies. Well, I, was I was in high school. Sure, like, sure. What the fuck? And so you, yeah, you, you <laughs> notice all these weird changes for him. I totally understand right. that. But for me as a kid, I was like, this, this is amazing. This was so eye-opening. It was it was that Indiana Jones and like Batman the Animated Series, mm-hmm. which we were talking about before. Those those they're, all they're kind of came at once. for you. They you, were, and you exactly. got hit with it all at once. Yeah, it, like, I was impressionable. You, you're you're right. Yeah, that's right. It, it got kicked off with the special editions mm-hmm. for the the Phantom Menace. Um, it has like these gems of of good ideas. I think it's just that none of them are executed well <laughs> in, in, in in any capacity. No. And that's the problem. Um, but I did want to talk a, a moment just about. I mean, we, we talk about stars in general, just lead up to like the revitalization in the late 90s, everything with the Thrawn trilogy and things. Um, but when the movie was actually finally coming out, um, what was your guys' impression of it? Were you excited? And when you did see it, what was your initial reaction? Because um, I think for a lot of people, when they saw this movie, they were, um, they, they liked it. I think most people, there is, there is this view, there's this, this, people say like, oh, when it first came out, everyone hated it. It's like, no, no people no, no, were no. very excited no, 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 about this and they loved it. No, no, it, it had, it had built up a legend. Yeah. I remember us going to see it. We got to go to a, a critic's preview mm-hmm. and it was already people intense. Like, like you see oh, now sure. with homeless people yeah, yeah. camped out in a line <laughs> waiting for it to start in two days. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we all came out of it like, yeah, you know, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was, uh, Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was just one of those, like, as the days of the week passed by. Right. Because I remember it was at the end of the week, and I was starting to write a review of it. Mm-hmm. And I was going to start out, ha- you know, glowing. 
But the more I start getting into it, the more I was like, hold on. Mm -hmm. That that was a bunch of bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) It was just just slowly dawning on me. Because we had had done our review on the the show. I think we saw it on on like a Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And then we did our review on the air on Wednesday. And I remember what it was. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rather than not like it for all the things wrong with it, it was all, it was Jar Jar's fault. He was he was the bad thing about it. Um, oh, it would have been it was fine except for him, and it was like, nah, he was just the scapegoat. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't good, but there's there's a lot of shit wrong with this. Yeah, he's easy that, target. That, that, yeah, that, make, that that doesn't even involve him. <laughs> People went in there. And they had the opening crawl, and versus like, you know, it's always exciting to, to have like the opening crawl for a Star Wars film. Yeah, sure. Kind of sets up the the setting and the premise in general, and some of the characters and things <laughs> like that. And I think again, we had all roasted the glass when we first saw. It. We were just too young, like myself, to really understand what it all was. But we we, we look at the opening crawl. They're talking about taxation of trade routes and the tra- and a trade federation <laughs> Ain't nobody and read the that Republic. Shit. <laughs> and, I know. And I it's know. like, what is this? What happened to an evil empire? What happened to a, a, a device that can destroy a planet? Oh, or like a villain we're supposed right. to fear? Like, this this just sets up... It this feels like social studies. Right, no, it, it, that's it, what it this does. does. It, 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 it does. It's, <laughs> it is funny, because it, when, it, when it comes with that, it, my first thought was like, oh man, nobody reads those crawls anyway. Yeah. But the more it started going into the trade negotiations, mm-hmm, I was mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. all right, God damn it. What, what is happening here? I, I will say, though, that is Please. a good trailer. No, I, I mean, agree. Oh, the it is a good trailer. trailer. Not knowing, I mean, you know, like, like forgetting what I know now, how it, the final product is, just watching it, thinking, like, you've seen Star Wars, and it's been years, almost sure. two decades, yeah. and you see that. Mm-hmm. The, the one thing you know, even if you've never seen Star Wars, is that you are in for an adventure yeah. with yeah. all kinds of odd characters. Yeah. And you're like, how does all this fit together? And you get to see all the people when they're young. Like, me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, exactly. he's young. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they show uh, three, I always it's up three C C three PO three C three PO. I always go yeah. three C PO yeah. C three PO. God damn it! <laughs> they would have fucked the, the gay robot. Three PO three PO. The golden gay yeah, robot. Yeah, yeah. But you see him; he's not all the way built yet, and yeah. that kind of fun thing. Uh-huh. But um, it's funny though because this one may as well have the word filibuster in it. This one, like yes. you know, like it's growing up. Yeah. But you notice on the Force Awakens, mm-hmm. they made it nice, concise, oh, and exciting. Like, look, here's what's gonna happen. All right, and we're done. Luke yeah. Skywalker. Because like, I, I knew everybody was gonna be reading this shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Luke Skywalker. Is mentioned in the first sentence right, and everything. Exactly. Like it's using these specific keywords, and it was that was addressing the, the crawls in the in, in the prequels. But it, it's like okay, at least it, it, it starts like you have these two great actors. That at least people recognize, especially mm-hmm. with, with with Liam Neeson, who already yeah. made a name for himself for decades yeah. beforehand. Um, and it was just exciting to see a young Obi Wan Kenobi. But people might have started to know it's like okay, this is kind of going off the rails. People always say Jar Jar Binks. That was that was the one. That's the most racist character in all of Star Wars. Like <laughs> they listen, no. he's he's racist, no <laughs> doubt about it. But Lucas. Has played his hand pretty early, early on in, the in film. this early film. In the film. I, yeah. It's early in it, yeah. and I looked over because I'm, I'm like, am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? Oh, I, you're, you're, I, Martin, oh, you're hearing it. <laughs> this turn of events is unfortunate. My lord, is that legal? Legal? <laughs> oh, my, the pneumonians. My, my, my lord, is that? Evil? I know. Seriously, he might as yeah. well be that. Uh, what's that? He's sidekick the yellow that, claw. Uh, yeah, the yellow claw. But the sidekick that what's it called had a uh, Green Lantern head in the comic oh, book. Pie fight. Pie face. Pie face. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. say in that cartoon or yeah, yeah, yeah. How Jordan? Yeah. That guy. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it reminds me of. Yeah, pie no, face. What his name is? Pie yeah, face. Pie face. Pie face. face. God, he's yeah. Eskimo. Yeah. Oh well. That was all the same in them. Yeah, it, yeah. It's funny in the cartoon made. they made him Venusian to oh, <laughs> turn him green just to like. We're gonna update it, right? They named him Pie Face, which is so. Right. Yes, yeah, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, I was like, all right, so these are like the quote unquote Jap enemies yes. in World War II movies. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Find this offensive? Yeah. And like, <laughs> Lucas has famously said that he does not have a single stereotypical racist character in these movies. But listen, if you just look at the features of this alien. Yeah. I mean, from the, the the very Asian-esque eyes, this very thick Southeast Asian-esque accent. Yeah. It's like, I see what you're doing here. Yeah. And the fact that the Trade for Federation is this race who is all about industrialization, improving and improving their planet and spreading their own empire. It's like, that's Imperial Japan in half. I don't, I don't know what, well, yeah, what else but you also, want from me. Let's be honest, <laughs> and, and this is Please. just the truth. The way the characters look, it's the way that they would caricature 
Asian people yeah. Yeah, when they point. would be racist about it. Like, Very good the, point. Ooh, blah, 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 like that kind of stuff yeah, when they would do caricatures of them. Looks like a it's, shogun. He's dressed like Fu Manchu. Missy called John John Binks. Missy, your humble servant. That won't be necessary. Oh, but it is. It is demanded by the gods it is. By the gods it is. Oh, me don't know nothing about birth of no babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about birth of no babies, yeah. <laughs> but Mr. Betty, I said I'm going to do this now. <laughs> <laughs> we straight up have uh, a step and fetch it yeah, character yeah. In, in a Star Wars film. Yeah. That's what it was. And again, Rochester. I feel, yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Again, of course, this this is and it, I don't know. Maybe it's it, it's made even worse the fact that it's also played and, and voiced by a black man, Ahmed Best. Um, uh, it, where it, it, yeah, well, I was gonna say it'd be worse if it wasn't. But yeah, I, but I, 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 don't, I don't know. know. I mean, I you can know. go it's back and hard forth. To, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like is is it is it worse or is it not? And it's I'm gonna go with worse if it wasn't. I, I, I kind of feel that way too. Because okay. then it would be like, wait, what, what are you doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, with him, it's like, all right, all right yeah. brother, tone it down. Yeah. You, you can say tone it down. The other but, man, it's but like, you know, look, you, you, yeah, you, you ain't drawn from nothing. You're just doing this shit. <laughs> yeah. right? And what's just so funny to me is that, I mean, George Lucas, as he famously said, that the, the Jar Jar is the key to this movie and this franchise. He was going to sell it because he was like the, the first fully real, realized CGI character. It wasn't right. just a special effect. He wasn't, you know, just going to be in a single scene. He was going to be throughout the entire movie and throughout the entire trilogy. Mm. And, of course, because fan reaction was so negative. You, you guys made a great point that they used him as a scapegoat for, oh, really? for, for oh, this. Because yeah. there's, there's already a lot of bad stuff in this movie, which we'll cover. But that's why Jar Jar's role became so truncated in so many of the sequels and Attack of the Clones and then he just as a cameo appearance in Render the Sith they're like we don't even want to fucking oh, see I him I barely remember he was even yeah yeah he's, he's like, literally like he's standing the in a scene, scene. Yeah, he's, he's in the funeral scene he's just there and, mm-hmm. and they go don't say none yeah and in Attack of the Clones he's there he's the one who creates the the clone army he has the emergency powers gives the Palpatine but now Jar Jar is throughout the entire film and all he does is say stupid shit, get in trouble, and just act racist or stereotypical. Well, the thing is, like, that kind of character, you know, the, the racist mm-hmm. stuff aside, if you can even put that aside, it's n- not easy to pull off. But he's just there to, for comedic purposes. He's not even really a character. There's, yeah. like, he, doesn't, he doesn't have an arc. Like, he's actually in the movie rewarded for his inept. In, ineptitude sure constantly yeah. it's like why are you making him a general in the, when he knows that he gets most of the people killed his own species yeah, hates him exactly he really, and when I found out that he was like his species is good at like swimming underwater mm-hmm. and doing stuff I thought okay he's gonna have a moment where he saves somebody mm. under no no just no just no, I mean, you had to figure. Well, okay, I guess he's just here for the kids. Yeah, to entertain. Them. That's what he. That's what I think he's there for. But I just and to love, sell toys. Oh yeah, no. I mean, that's that's what Lucas' thing was. I mean, yeah. once the Ewoks hit, once they saw that was such a huge success. Mm-hmm. I mean, the toys in general. I mean, he got when he when he when he came with the concept of Star Wars and when he had Fox involved in everything. They gave him the exclusive toy rights to everything. Right, and that's that, that's why he's, he became a billionaire was Which, because of that. It's weird because I know people who have tons of Star Wars toys, but I don't know anybody with Ewok toys. Mm. Like, like, they, 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 huge. Like, like they might have the little figures, well, like stuffed animals. Yeah, the maybe. Stuffed animals. I, I, I've never seen one. Oh, they had mm. them like when I was a kid. I remember In they the had 80s. those. They, all the cartoons. The, the Ewok I mean, cartoons. I mean, the two movies. I they mean, had. I, yeah. I get that they would have that and, and all, mm-hmm. but like right now, I I still like. You I know, see what you're saying. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do like, see what like, you're saying. I know plenty of adults mm-hmm. with 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 Star Wars collectibles. Right, the actual action figures. Yes, the, yes, yeah, and I don't ones. know a single one of them that has an Ewok. Well, Jar Jar is absolutely terrible. Um, you know, but, but there are other characters in this movie, new characters we haven't seen, famously. I mean, they, they, they brought in this, this actress who has already made a name for herself and stuff like Leon the Professional, mm-hmm. which is a, is a great action sure. uh, mm-hmm. thriller. The heat. And, yeah, and it's like, well, they, they, interesting, they put her in an in a interesting costume. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's okay. Very, yeah. It looks very ornate, very cool. It's like, uh, well, I met, hey, her, her acting is going to be just as good <laughs> as her costume, obviously. His queen, Amadala Hassan. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Christ. 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 Again, you come before us, your high. <laughs> they, 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 they cannot pr- pronounce R's or L's. <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's so bad. It's like I'm trying to get to the, what he's talking about the clip, and I'm like, oh my God, I, I can't hear this anymore. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, dude. We're, we're not even at the part where I'm going to talk about it. Yeah, but it's so like, like I want to grab, I, I want to grab George Lucas. Be like, I know you hear this shit. I know you see this mother. <laughs> Come on, man. They weren't no. even trying in that scene. No. Somebody no. was drunk. And and somehow it gets even worse. 
You will not be so pleased when you hear what I have to say, Viceroy. Your uh, trade boycott of our planet has ended. Is she for real? Is this how she's going to sound? Or like, is, is, why is she monotone? Is, is that a British accent? <laughs> I'm not sure. It almost sounds like it. I know we sound ridiculous. I, mean, I know that. But we got that, right? We're in agreement on that. But what the f*** is it? Oh, so it's an accent off. Yeah, right? Right? <laughs> yeah. She's come ill prepared. It's so bizarre to me that Lucas insisted on on Amidala Padme to have this monotone voice, yeah. and I, I I I just can't imagine why. There's scenes when she's out of the makeup; she has like a body double. It's a weird twist in the movie. Yeah, that which was like, odd. Oh, which, which, who cares? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. It anyway. Doesn't matter. And when you and when they go, oh, check it out. You're like, exactly. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, it, yeah, it didn't affect nothing. Exactly. No. Yeah. 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 Um, but and, I forgot she was in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. that time you kind of do. Uh, well, I mean, I'm sure Natalie Portman wishes that she could, you know, forget this because this. I think for a lot, this. I mean, this effect, this this series of films, these these prequels did affect a lot of these actors' careers. Hers, and hers especially. Yeah. Did, did it? Yeah. Yeah, people oh, thought yeah. she was she, an awful actress after this. She, like, oh. she couldn't get work for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, she and Ewan like, McGregor. Because yeah. I always knew she was good before this. I was just like, what is happening here? Yeah. Because uh, it was, once Samuel Jackson was coming off bad, I was like, all right, I can't blame any of these actors. <laughs> right. All right. Jake Lloyd, maybe. <laughs> but he's a kid. He's a, he's a child. He's a little yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, yeah. The, but I was like, it, this can't, no, there's something happening here right. that's making everybody bad. You know, Star Wars is known for it's like these really cool female characters, especially in Princess Leia. Um, but yeah, they he completely dropped the ball in this regard, just making her well, sure. monotone and boring. And then by the time she's in the third film, she's just waddling around, pregnant and crying all the time. Mm. It's like that's that's really it. That's all you have for this person well, to do. And the second one just said, oh, he, I know. he's like, you're a little older now. I tear off that midriff real quick and let me see some of that. You know, what I'm serious. That's what no, he does. Because yeah. this one, she looks like she's 12. She, I think I think she's supposed to be. She's supposed to be very young. Yeah, yeah. she looks like. I mean, like, because I know yeah. Natalie Portman is short anyway, but goddamn, she looks like a child. It's supposed to not be weird when her right. and Anakin get together. Oh, we'll talk yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> which is funny, pedophile Padme. <laughs> which is it's funny because he was like, man, it was a weird relationship in the second one. Then went back and watched the first one. I'm like, yeah, man, it's really fucking weird, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> when he's a little ass boy. <laughs> Lucas has a history of doing that, mm. and but he's had other people like. Of stopping him from showcasing that in certain films, and we'll get to the Padme Anakin stuff because it is it is very weird and very awkward, mm -hmm. and how he insisted on making Anakin so young and Padme. She's supposed to be like fifteen years old in the movie, okay. you know. Supposedly that's how old she's she's supposed to be, but that's like I think she looks even older than that. Personally, right, but he's but. clearly eight. No, he's yeah, he's he's, he's, a, he's a child. He's very much a child. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, look, fellas, but we we had incest in the previous series that's true. of movies. That's true. <laughs> so going to be in a predator is a little bit of a step. Up, well, that uh, pedophiles, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> Is it I, better? No, maybe not. Maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> I forget I said anything. <laughs> so the reason why Lucas had that weird relationship where Padme is obviously older than Anakin, mm. Anakin's young. He has a history of doing that or attempting to do stuff like that. Sorry, you say you say something. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> so back in, in 79, Lucas and Spielberg, along with Lawrence Kasdan, had finished the script for Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that Lucas wanted to put in there was the idea of a forbidden romance between Indy and uh, Mayor, uh, or, uh, Karen Allen's character, Marion Ravenwood. Yeah. And, and, we, and, and, and that's the description. That's the synopsis. You can find it online. Uh, but we assume, like, well, it's a forbidden romance because of the fact that um, her father didn't want Indy and her to have a relationship. It's like, that makes sense. Sure. What Lucas wanted was... Marion Ravenwood to be 11 years old. Jesus. 11? Yes. 11. 11 years old, yes. And to Indy to be an adult. Oh. Yes. But Spielberg said, she better be older. You better make her older. We can't do that. He we said, all right, fine, yeah. 12. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, though. It's like, okay, because one of the big exciting things for this film, of course, this is going to be the origin of Darth Vader. Sure. You know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> please laugh, please I mean, do. If you go say ahead. so. <laughs> I mean, Jake Lloyd kind of did go to the dark side once his movie oh, was so weird. Oh shit! Yeah, I yeah, know, poor kid. And I don't listen. I don't even want to. <laughs> I don't even want to like talk negatively about Jake Lloyd because, as as I said before, he, he was an actor and he's given these lines oh, and yeah. he's given this direction, and so that that's why his performance is the the, the way it is. Yeah. And you know, he had a he had a really rough childhood after this movie came out. 
I yeah, mean, deep down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yep, all, all the time. Um, I mean, he, he, I think he's been diagnosed with like a mental illness. He's yeah. been in and out of, um, I don't want to say an asylum, but a mental health clinic yeah, multiple yeah, times. Yeah. And so, I feel very bad for him. But I, the, the choice to make him nine years old and to just be happy about being a slave. It never sat well with me <laughs> or anyone else. Like literally yelling "Yippee!" <laughs> when he finally gets off, you Yippee! know, for work from all of his slave duties. It's just, it's really bizarre to me, and it's it's made all the more awkward when you have someone like Pam Amidala just lusting after him. Hmm. How long have you been here? Since I was very little, three, I think. You can just literally see him looking at the cue cards I, I, off I, I, screen. I gotta say, she does look really young. Like, she's only two years old. I think they him. did something like that. I don't know about that. But also, but she sounds like she's 15. That's what I'm saying. Like, she, she looks <laughs> older. No, no, no. no, no all, uh, girls mature faster. Yeah. All my true. life. <laughs> you know, all eight years of it. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's her growing up, you know, as a princess or a queen yeah. and him growing up as a poor little slave kid who mm. probably rationalize that shit all you want well, I mean, <laughs> he's had very little he's had very little access to, to education oh, clearly and, and I wasn't so much bothered by him being happy as a slave it just it, it genuinely made me kind of sad it's like you know he's grown up and this is all he's known he's just ignorant to okay. it this is yeah. this is this is his way of life yeah. I can like see that point though. Of view. <laughs> what's that I know you don't like the yippee though <laughs> it, it, yeah but it, once again it was like it, it was dumb. I mean, it was it was it was a dumb <laughs> thing in, in, in a movie. I know, but you know, he's a he's a little kid. You know, they're gonna little kids say stupid shit all the time. Yeah, no, he, he, and he keeps saying it right here. He keeps saying it right here. My mom and I were sold to Gardula the Hut, but she Shabba watched us betting on the pod races. You're a slave. I'm a person, and my name is Anakin. A person, my name is yeah, Anakin. Okay. I mean, I'd walk not, away at that wrong. point and be like, yeah, <laughs> all right, all right. I'm looking at your threads, homie, you a slave. <laughs> <laughs> this is the origin of Darth Vader, mm -hmm. an iconic villain. Yeah. People love him from the original series. Right. Um, and I, I think like, the, like the, I have the idea of making him a slave is so interesting because that would explain why he has this rage. Oh, absolutely. Why sure, he's absolutely. so angry. That is the problem, is mm -hmm. to have him as this little kid with no rage. And right. I, I, I get the ideas to go like, he was a happy little child, but the dark side flipped him over to show that contrast. But it's like, you kind of need more than that. Mm -hmm. You, you, you want to see in a film when you do an origin, you want to see, not exactly like they did Corello or anything like that, but you want to see what they, they're going to draw on to yeah. piss them off. Yeah. And like, oh, that's why he's so angry. Yeah. Oh, that's why he doesn't like this. Oh, that's why this sets him off over here. You know, that, you know, that kind of thing. But you don't see that. He's just... Sorry, but yippee! Yeah, you know, yeah, and it, yeah. you don't. And I remember that bothered me when I saw it the first time. I'm like, well, he's just too damn happy. And it's funny because people, Spielberg and Coppola, were telling him before he started the films, you should age Anakin up. Yep. You should make yes. him like a late, like like Luke was. He's yeah. Luke and Mark Hamill like made the movie when he was like 19 years old. Right. And, and that's so, how old and he should have been. And that's how old he should have been. Just 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 like his or son. At least the angsty 14 year old. Yeah. Right. Or something yeah, like that. Something like that. Just mm -hmm. not. A child because yeah. you can't really get those levels. Of no, that, yeah. no, exactly. You know, yeah, I, I those think nuances. No, completely agree. And I think that's what we should have seen from Anakin. He should have been a kid who, and they should have. I, I think they should have made him look rougher because there's there's lines of dialogue in this movie where Anakin references, and it's it's during a, a dinner scene when Jar Jar is just being goofy. He's like, there are little bombs, like Suicide Squad bombs, in the back of our necks, and if we escape, my slave master, my Racist Jewish oh, <laughs> stereotype geez, slave right. master. Yeah, no. Speaking of World War Two, yeah, well, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, we'll blow us up, and it's like it's it's just sad, like so nonchalantly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, now pass the salt. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's the thing. If a little kid says that at dinner, everybody should stop and go like, what? Go, what? what? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I, again, I, I think I think he, I feel like yeah, either he should be like a teenager or like late teens. Sorry, <laughs> no, keep going. No, it just it just it just dawned on me that is that happens. Mm -hmm. Like they'll blow us up. We try to escape. Wait, what do you say? Uh, oh, some I, old bullshit nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> you know that kid always talking yeah. shit. Don't listen yeah. to him. Don't yeah. listen to him. <laughs> Slave. <huh? laughs> I know. And it's it's just that thing where like I wish they they actually made him this really angry kid, who or this this teenager, and when like. Obi-Wan, and that's the other thing about this whole sequence right here, Obi-Wan's absent for a third of the film. Yeah, yeah. And 
so much like when we hear of like Al Guinness's Obi Wan, he's talking about Anakin like uh, I trained him. Um, and he was uh, he was a good friend. Like that's how he describes him. Sure. And we never see that in this movie. You don't even see it in the in the other films. Ancillary material as we do, but it's just it's just weird that like, that doesn't happen. And, we, and it should have been Obi Wan going to this planet and suddenly finding this kid and seeing inspiration, but also seeing that he has this dark side. He has this anger and hatred. He's like, I can control this. I can help him. I can I can fix him. All right. right. And I can I can do this. And he can do all these amazing things for all of us. Yeah. And they just drop the ball. Yeah. And, and and it's sad. And it doesn't help. That you have, I mean, it's like okay, so we got the the racist, uh, uh, the yellow claw out of the way. We have the step and fetching character. He's still doing step and fetching stuff. But if it's just it's, those two things, I think exactly. we'll be all right. It's like exactly, but no, We're no, good. no. Predators will do fine. No, they won't. What did I just? What tell you me? think you're some kind of Jedi? My tricks gonna work on me. Only money. Only money. Oh. Um, I wouldn't have to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> day, 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 all day long. Excuse me, Tevia. I mean, I mean, I mean, Fagan. I mean, Watto. Uh, right, right. Yeah. Anybody? Mm -hmm. <laughs> any, any Jewish stereotype? Any Jewish stereotype character we've had? I love it. He's, he's uh, Adam Sandler and Uncut Gems. Yeah, yes, that's exactly yeah. what he is. <laughs> Straight up, yeah. I mean, again, we just we have another racist character. People have said, said maybe he's Arabic, but I mean, okay, close enough. <laughs> no, no, he is Arabic. Clearly, yeah, he's, yeah, he is. Bill, you, you could, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, look at the what do you have to say about Watto? Well, no, 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 because he's clearly like those 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 old horrible cartoons that Germans used to draw yeah. Jews. Yeah, that's, that's how he looks yep. like all hunched over and. And with the spindly thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how they used to big, draw him. Big oh, I, oh, I know. I know. Yeah, the big nose. Big and the noses. thing is, saying, no, no, he's Arabic. Not better. Yeah. It's not, still not better. better. Not better. <laughs> still I, I, I not accurate either, but not <laughs> yeah, better. Yeah. 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 So just, just yet uh, uh, another horrible character and, and, that we found and once in the movie. again this isn't some kind of like oh yeah now we're in the woke era you come out with this I'll tell you I'm sitting in the no. theater right, right. there going yeah. what you're all sitting there yeah. 23 like, 4 years ago yeah going. I'm like I'm, I'm liking this but um is <laughs> 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 seeing this <laughs> this can't be real right? Right. Right. So you're like, okay it can't just be me everyone this is happening again right right <laughs> I love that people in the chat Bravo. are like at least well at least it was diverse stereotypes <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, six pack fruit beer, great one. Yes, it was. You got to give Lucas that. Yeah, yeah. He, he covered his bases. Well, um, fine. I just won't have any ethnic people in these from now on. <laughs> what do you think about they that? They have to be stereotypical. <laughs> have to be offensive. It's it's almost like he was trying to get run the gamut. Like somebody said, hey, you know. Those are kind of oh shit we can't we ain't got time to to uh, to reshoot those <laughs> uh, make a Jew character or something I mean we gotta make him I mean goddamn <laughs> yeah, we gotta throw it all out there now I, I see him as sort of this and he just draws a big Jew stereotype <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh, okay. Uh, okay how we're we gonna use it <laughs> let's, let's see what we can do with and make, make sure be, be make sure he says money <laughs> we have all these racist characters the movie's kind of That's it, okay. it, it's it's literally it's stopped in its tracks. Yeah. Has a lot of pacing issues. Obi-Wan Kenobi's not even in it anymore at this yeah, point yeah, for a yeah. third. Yeah, we, what, we, we love seeing Obi, but he's he's not yeah, even yeah. there. Yeah, and it's like, well, we, we can distract people with something. What, what can we do? Sports! <laughs> and that's that. He just, he just looks so funny with those big ass yeah, goggles yeah, yeah. and that tiny ass yeah, hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, he can barely Sammy reach right for like it. This. Yeah. He's like, Whoa, this is intense. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. yeah, you remember that. But yeah. <laughs> so I, I will say, I think the pod racing scene, it goes on for way too long. Oh my God. But it I do like the idea of seeing what sports look like in Star Wars. And I think a lot of the sequence does work. And I just love seeing all the different pods, the vehicles, and they're smashing each other. Like, all these racers die. It was like, this. yeah, I was like, how often do they do this? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it was like, what's that thing we used to, the Hanna Barbera cartoon? The Wacky Racers. Wacky Racers. That's what it kind of yeah, reminded yeah. me of when I watched it, which I always loved. Yeah, no, no, no. Slide. This uh, This scene was cool. But I always say, you know why you love it? Because not jack shit was happening up to that point. Yeah, You've been sitting there true. for an hour. No one so was, finally, you got something. No one was talking. Yeah, it no, was yeah, just it straight was just action. Nothing. You yeah. know, it was um, CGI. Yeah, exactly. But, Nobody but was I, talking. I, mm -hmm. I will say, even at the time, this scene was getting ruined for me by the announcers. Who oh, sound like they came... God. 
Like, yeah. they, like they came directly from Earth <clears throat> and telling old cliche, oh, that's got to hurt. Like, yeah, I yeah. know. It's like, that's not Ga- how you're supposed to talk over here. Yeah. <laughs> Galaxy far, far away, huh? Mm. Not, oh, too far. not too far. Yeah, not too far. Oh, <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> yeah. Heavens to Betsy. Um, uh, you feel that in the morning, uh, but the sound mixing on this scene is really oh, great. Oh, it is. It is. That, that makes it. I mean, there, there are, like, really good elements in this movie and in all the prequels, whether it be some, like, really great ideas, a failure of execution, like, yes, the sound mixing, the sounding is great, and the music. Mm-hmm. We can go into that right now. I mean, John Williams' score of course. for oh, this sure. film and, and the other two prequels are great. I mean, yeah. everyone knows Duel of the Fates. Everyone says that's, like, one of the top three songs in the entire Star Wars saga, sure. you know, yeah. I, I love it. I mean, what's, what, what's your guys' opinion on that? Well, the, on I mean, movie? you know, they did know to bring back some of the, the the big things that work besides the John Williams score, mm-hmm. uh, Drew Struzan as the artist on the posters that gave yes. you that like, oh yeah, yeah, these look like the old posters. Mm-hmm. And, sure. You know, s- stuff like that. That's what kept you feeling like you were still watching Star Wars, right. no matter how much it was crashing and and doing awful things. It was like, but I'm still, I still got the feeling. I'm still in there with it. And, and great sets too. Yes, the set design is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, I love when they're on the ships or whatever, and you see the outside space, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's very still. I, I I love watching things like that. Now, what was happening in the goddamn scene? I, yeah, I know. You know, I fuck know. that shit, but just <laughs> yeah. the whole the that, set. That, that, that's why it cut such an amazing trailer, because just to look at scenes. Sure. And they, you're Isolation. Like, wow, what your, what your imagination feels in it. One of the, one of the incredible. things I, I yeah. do appreciate about this movie is that this has the most practical effects out of any of the prequels. Yeah, it does. You know, because by the time we get to attack the clones, everything is CGI. Yeah, it's just. Everything yeah. is a green screen. Yeah. And it feels really awkward. Like, they actually filmed in location. You know, they're, 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 they actually are in a desert. Uh, they're, 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 they actually built these sets on sound stages. And, that, and, that, and those things about the film hold up really well. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of the CGI, I mean, it's 20 plus years. Sure. Some of it looks okay, some of it doesn't. Right, right, but I was right. surprised how, at least well, aesthetically, the movie holds up. But that was one of the things I think is why this movie is aged better than, than Attack the Clones. I, 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 no, the I agree. I, 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 you're right about the, the sets and the practical effects. I think all that works up until you get to the third act. Yeah. I got made a bet with um, Watto mm-hmm. about, like, hey, I'll bet my ship um, if, if Anakin wins. And yet, so you'll get if he loses. However, if he does win, I want Anakin and his mom. Mm-hmm. That's the deal. Waddle oh, said, right. Waddle's like, I will not give up two slaves. Yeah. And he was like, we'll roll. We'll roll a dice for it. And so Qui Gon made sure he's like, I don't give a shit about the mom. <laughs> <laughs> I want him. That's he's the chosen it, one. Yeah. Okay. And so what happened is he gets Anakin, and then he, then, but he can't get the mom. Now, again, you bring up a good point, but like, why does he just kill Waddle, the bomb? But it's so poorly mm, said earlier okay. in the film mm. that that's why people will always assume why well, just fuck it's yeah just, it's just, just like, do just, it just take yeah. it yeah right? so again it's Be just it's 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 just bad exposition how it was delivered and that's why it's confusing for a lot of people and uh, what doesn't help I think and this movie has already been indulging it but is over explaining things we didn't really need to know about. And like the whole idea of the force, what was so cool about the original oh, trilogy, yeah. everybody was mad about um, that. Was the fact that anyone can learn it. You just, you, it just takes hard work, and you got to believe in it, and it's that simple. And it's like that's that, that's a, that's a great message. Sure, I really sure. like that. Sure, sure, sure. No, it's like back from the the old kung fu movies. Mm-hmm. You got to go to the temple. Yeah. You, you got to do the, the trials. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the training. You, mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're just some schmuck in the village. Yep. And this movie says, uh, yeah. All that we're changing that no yeah actually what it is is that you're a special individual because you have these little microscopic organisms in your blood and that's what makes you special and so if you don't have those little organisms in your blood you ain't shit a problem the delorians are a microscopic life form that resides within all living cells they live inside me he's like i don't microscope i don't understand that i can't even count <laughs> i don't even understand math sir <laughs> Uh, yeah, the whole the whole idea of the the metachlorians, like why Lucas has felt the need to put in a scientific explanation for that. I mean, that's that's puzzled fans for over twenty years. It just it's unnecessary. It takes away the mysticism. I, that, I, that is I, the force. I think it, it it took something away from the fans. Yeah. who you know got dressed up with the idea that you know they could cosplay or in their head to be Jedi mm-hmm. someday, yeah. only to just be told right then and there. Nope. nope. <laughs> Don't mm-hmm. even stop mm-hmm. thinking about it. Yeah, you got the wrong genes. A, co- a collective, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. I mean, what what did you feel when you heard, heard about that? I all that fucking mumbo jumbo. All <laughs> about that. I forgot all about yeah. that. So. Oh, so it was a big deal. People I, could not shut up about mm-hmm. it. I, well, I, I just totally yeah forgot all about it. And the other thing that's frustrating is like you have you bring in really well accomplished actors who are just on the rise in their careers and you do nothing with them and i think one of the most egregious ones is with samuel jackson where literally all he does in this particular scene and in most of the movie and most of the other movies just sit in a goddamn chair the force is strong he is to be trained then no <laughs> I do love it. No. no. <laughs> He's like, wait, are we rolling? Wait, what's going on? And he's like, I don't give a shit about this kid. And I love like Jake Lloyd's look at him because he's like, you, I don't know, there, there, there's something where it's like, okay, I think he's thinking of, of a certain word he wants to say to Mace Windu. <laughs> look at that. Look. Yeah, <laughs> black motherfucker. We were, yeah, asking, we were having a good time until you showed up. Yeah. Right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Does he need to be here? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's a damn shame because, I mean, you get Samuel Jackson. I was talking to Billy off mic about this, is that, you know, he w- he did Pulp Fiction five years before mm. this. He did Jackie Brown two years before this. He was and established. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was seven, even in the 80s, he was, he was he was getting all these roles. What was yeah. it, be Jungle Fever or even oh, stuff yeah. like Coming to yeah, America? Yeah, yeah, it was in everything. Spike, Spike Lee. Lee. Yep, good point. Mm-hmm. And it was... To me, it's like if you had an actor like that, he's like, okay, you should make it. You have Samuel L. Jackson, who was everyone's like, oh, I, I love seeing him and stuff. Can't wait to see what he's going to do. Exactly. Long, long Kiss Goodnight. Don't yeah. forget about that. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah. another great movie. And all, like, through most of the, the, this prequel trilogy, he's like a tertiary character mm-hmm. at best. He's never part of the main group. And that was just such a huge mistake to me. Well, remember what I told you off, 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 off mic, whatever, camera? Mm-hmm. Uh, George Lucas was like, we got Sam Jackson. And then he just kept saying that. And he didn't say he's going to do with him. He just kept saying, because he was just like, because Sam Jackson, you know, that was really big. And oh, this yeah. Is yeah. Fiction. He's playing all these badasses. And Sam Jackson's <laughs> going to MTV Music Awards. He's like, he's a bad, I'm a bad motherfucker. Got the purple, got the purple lightsaber. Uh, lightsaber. He kept saying that. And all this, and George Lucas was just like, yeah, we got him. We got him. And so, you know, and then there he is. Nothing over there. You, there. No, don't, don't touch him, though, but <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. just look at him, huh? Yeah. 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 You missed him. Yeah, next movie, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was just like he just no, he was there. You you just wanted your popcorn. I'm yeah. telling you, he was there. Yeah. It was just it was just another uh, just lost opportunity. Then I feel um, obviously by the time we get to the end of the film, Lucas he was adamant about recreating the Return of the Jedi and battle where I'm going to have mm. multiple battles happening at the exact same time. Yeah. So famously in Return of the Jedi, <laughs> yeah. you have the, the space battle, the Death Star 2. Yeah. You have the uh, the duel between Vader and, and Luke and Papa Palpatine talking shit the entire time. Mm-hmm. And then you have the ground battle with the Ewoks. Here he's like, I'm going to add another one. <laughs> and so you got no, all more, those more, battles. More, right? yeah, 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 more. And yeah, we have you know Padme infiltrating the palace. You have the Gungans battling on the Windows 95 screensaver. Yeah. You have the, you literally have the Death Star again attacking the donut ship and then but of course famously you have Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan's duel with Darth Maul right. and I remember when this movie was coming out and people were and I was justifiably excited for this character he looks his design sure his aesthetic is so cool and he's it's, like it's, the it's so devil non, non Star Wars yes yeah yes. exactly Very, that, that's a great way to put it and also that's the only reason anybody knew who Ray Park was that's true mm-hmm. time, this is what made, this like, what made him famous yeah, yeah. was yeah, this true um, well the year after that he did X Men X Men yeah yeah, yeah as, as as Toad that's right yeah mm-hmm. yeah good point um, and yeah and and and, and sadly. He he was underused. He only had about two lines of dialogue. I, I didn't were, know he had any dialogue. He he has two lines when he speaks to Palpatine, uh, Darth Sidious, whatever you want to call him, mm-hmm. um, on on Coruscant. But again, it's it's oh. literally he just says, "At last, the Sith will return. At last, we'll have a revenge." And that's it. Mm. And then for the rest of the time, he's a mute and he's just hunting them. And I, even Lucas has said he regrets underusing Maul so much because he's in this movie and that's it. And he's dead. Yeah. Now he's been brought back, and I want to talk about that to a degree. But I will say to be positive about Darth Maul, that lightsaber battle at the very that that is that to me is the highlight of the movie. Oh, it's great. He said, "Oh shit!" That's the first time you saw a double edge because he said, "Oh, y'all thought I was done, huh?" <laughs> 
And you mentioned earlier, Billy, the fight choreography in this film oh, great. is is fantastic. And to me, this is I mean, my favorite lightsaber duel. My two favorites have always been like Empire between Luke and Vader, and then again when they fight in in, in Jedi. Oh, yeah. of the emotion yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah and, and, yeah, and Palpatine just egging him on the in, in the entire yeah, time. I yeah. love that. But in terms of just straight combat and choreography and how the camera shot like lucas I'll, I'll give my hats off to lucas here he was smart enough to like do a lot of wide shots mm -hmm. and you know maybe you know, the actors happening. are actually doing yes it. exactly yeah, and then that's yeah. what i love about that also I, I i i'm in a minority on this one i love the uh the escape scene from uh, uh from jabba oh in oh, of Jedi. oh i like that, that scene they hop over right <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> is it now Return of the Jedi? Was that the one? Which what you one mean with the, with the, his his sail barge and stuff like that? Yeah, when he, when he flips over the thing and all that. Yeah, yeah, Luke yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. one of my favorite ones yeah. too. But anyway, no, no, um, no, no. But yeah, this one actually looks like the actors are doing it. Mm -hmm. It looks like Ewan McGregor's actually swinging that thing around. Yeah, yeah. Because there was a point I thought, are they just doing this and they put it in? Right. But there's a point with Ewan McGregor where yeah, not only is he swinging around, but there's a point he looks almost tired of holding it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can like you can feel the weight of it. Mm -hmm. it like, yeah, yeah. That 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 was what you know. A lot of what makes that. There's a great moment in it, and it's before like when Obi Wan. It's just Obi Wan and Maul. But I like it. It really shows. Like again, there's such a lack, profound lack of character development between all these characters. Oh, yeah. But at least in this one scene that we got, where. You you can you 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 know what's happening. You can see on the actors' faces where they have they come to that barrier scene, mm -hmm. and where they all the energy shields that all shuts, and you have uh, Qui Gon sitting down and he's just meditating mm -hmm. before the fight. You have Ewan McGregor who is just so anxious because he wants to get to his master, mm -hmm. and then you have just Maul just prowling yeah, like yeah. an animal, yeah. like looking at his prey to like a lion or something mm -hmm. right, like that. Right. And I, I love that about that. This is like their actions. Cat, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 I, and I think I just gravitate towards that. And I like to emphasize it because we didn't really get to know any of these people in the movie. <laughs> and so that's why I liked it so much. What was the explanation on that barrier thing? Because I was like, I can never figure out what, what is the purpose of that. The purpose is to, to make it look cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. It's thank literally you. that. We come when you... What part? The one where the energy shields come down. Here, I'll actually, I'll, I'll show it. Uh, for, I'll play it right here. Because I think it's... Because that was uh, a gangster move when they were fighting. And he's like, he used the force. He goes, blam. Oh, all this no. shit up. He'll be going in here now, that, that, <laughs> that move is awesome. I love that it. That is a like, gangster ass ah, move. He throws yeah. it. But we're barely even looking at it. <laughs> like, yeah. He's, yeah. No, yeah. Because he, he's so proficient in lightsaber combat. But no, this, this scene right here is what I'm talking about. Oh. Right in the gut. Yep. And I will say, you McGregor's no here. There's a lot of bad nose in Star Wars. This one works for me. No! Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Of course, you know Darth Maul never really gets cocky. Yeah, he is um, cocky. Just cut the. F and, he, out. And, he, and he gets cut in half. And it's uh, God damn it! It's such a lost opportunity because. I mean, they already fucked it up with having him not even speaking anything. But literally, when he's fallen. Right here. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. like, what, what a waste. He literally falls into a garbage pit. Yeah, you know, if a piece is hitting the side. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, he's bouncing off the yeah. shit. Yeah, banking yeah. off the side. It's yeah. like that scene in, remember in, in Titanic, where it's like, oh, it's this, this horrible scene, all these people dying, and the one guy goes off the propeller and just does like a oh, like, like, yeah. flip. <laughs> it's like, all right, okay, okay, we're making a joke of it, fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, and the, the, thankfully, though, like, listen, Darth Maul, it was wasted, but years later, you did have people that came back, and they actually... Use the character effectively. I know. I, I know you're probably both of you. I mean, you've watched a little bit of it. He got spot. Yes, he got spider right. legs. He got spider legs. Was, after watching him die here, he shows up at the end of, of Solo, and I was like, I "What the actual f is going on?" And again, <laughs> and again, I, I I agree with you. I 100 percent agree with you because if you if you didn't know about the stuff that they were doing with him. In the in the other uh, materials, like with the TV shows, be like, what? He's dead. He got. Yeah. I saw him get cut in half. Yeah, that, that cheapens the death. I, yeah, and and you're you're right. He does come back though through the power of the dark side, <laughs> and he um he, 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 he gets he gets he gets spider legs and he gets better robot legs later on. But what they do with him? He, he gets, listen, I'm trying to sell this. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> you, you, you know he got cut above the legs, right? <laughs> and he got a new tummy and he got a robo dick. Yes, <laughs> I know. Actually, he's Kendall's move down there. He got that's why he's so mad.
Sorry. Darth Maul ain't getting no pussy. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> well, that is the whole thing about being Jedi or Sith. It's like mm-hmm. you got to give up women. Did we not tell you that part? Yeah. That's right. You were an eight year old kid. We probably told you you didn't care at the time. Hannah, can now, you think now girls are 18? Kids? You care a lot. <laughs> and you're mad. <laughs> That's why you're mad now. Yeah. I'm mad. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that shit, man. I mean, yeah, when they <laughs> told them. tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, girls, yucky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's exactly yeah, what they yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, you were cool when I first told you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say, just back to Darth Maul Sorry, again briefly. No, 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 it's totally fine. Uh-huh. So at least go off in tangents. I love it. But Darth Maul, they have done a lot of great stuff with this character. And for people that were disappointed in his depiction originally in that film, ch- check out the, the arcs of Clone Wars. Check out the arcs of Rebels. They do some amazing stuff with him. He actually fucking talks. He has dialogue. Does he? You know, and you know, they, they get Sam Witwer to uh, voice him, who's been in, like, Battlestar Galactica, and he's, okay. he, he's done other stuff as well. Oh, I know um, who that you, is. You know, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. who he is. He's, he's in a lot of projects. He also, he also did other Star Wars games. He did the Force Unleashed games years ago. Okay. He was the main character in this. But he gives... Uh, Sam Witwer, Dave Filoni, and the creators of those shows, they redeem Maul. And he, they really turn him into one of the best star villains of all time. He becomes very pathetic because he loses everything. Palpatine's like, I don't need you anymore. Yeah, you're and a, you're a nuisance. You're a loser. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, and, you know, he constantly is just fighting to survive, get, uh, or to, to survive, get his little bit of power that he can hold on to mm. and just retain it. Um but he will. Ne- he is never the man he wants. Literally, <laughs> never the man. Yeah. Half the man once. he was. Half if I was half the man I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but uh, and 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 he's kind of pathetic and he's kind of sad. And eventually, you know, not to get into spoilers, but the only th- like is twenty years later when he is brought back into like the original trilogy era. And I'm not talking about like Solo okay. or anything where it's just like, why the f- is he here? It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. But, like the last thing that he has is Obi Wan Kenobi. And it's like it's well, his, his hatred person, towards him. Yeah, his hatred. That's it. Yeah. That's all that defines him. And where I, I won't show the scene here, but I really encourage people to check it out. The last moment that Obi Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul have, I'm like, okay. What, what is they, this they from? nailed it. This is from Rebels. This is from Rebels. Rebels. Yeah. Hey, Clone Wars. You, you think they'll bring him back in the Obi Wan series? If they do, it'll contradict. What they did in the Rebel series. That that's that point where it's coming. Can't you just want to see him? At this point, well, I mean, why not? They don't seem to care about that so much. Yeah. I think, yeah. The first they were saying, like, no, all these things are canon now. They're like, yeah. So I would like to see that. It would be kind of cool to see that conversation between them in live action. I think that would be neat. Um, but I just wanted to say, I wanted to give Darth Maul his due because he is a he's he's a really well written character. Just initially he was not. Okay. He was a cool idea, it was just not executed well. Um, and then eventually, you know, we get we get to the the end of the film. Um, very bizarre ending to me, just because it's like, all right, I guess we're just we're gonna have a a, a parade esque sequence. Oh, actually, I wanted to talk about um we, we right the big, here the big battle. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, not the big battle. We we we, we covered it uh, uh, enough, but like <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to see the Windows ninety five screensaver. But I just love how you have all of a sudden Kenobi suddenly fighting for wanting to train Anakin, and uh, before he's like, I, I f- this kid, and and it's, it's just weird to me. It, again, it, it's, it's something that's just not earned. Confer on you the level of Jedi Knight. Oh, I stepped in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a He sure is, yeah. yeah. Padawan learner, I do not. I gave Qui-Gon my word. I will train Anakin. <sighs> Fuck, fine. <laughs> well, you know, he, look, eh. His friend, his master, yeah. his, on his deathbed, makes him promise. Yeah. I, I get that. You know, he's like, hey, I, that's, the, that's the last bit of him I have is my promise to him. Right. Mm-hmm. And I get that. You know, I, I promise. But Yoda's like, okay, because nobody going to fucking listen to me. <laughs> <I know. laughs> okay. All right. Yoda's always doing that. Yeah, he's like, all right, see what happens. <sighs> okay. I mean, you know what? I ain't going to say none of this stuff. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. See how this plays out. I'm, like, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but to I'll be me, waiting by the phone when you go. But to me, it's a lost opportunity because Obi Wan should have already wanted to train Anakin from the beginning. Because so much of that is emphasized, like by Alec Guinness's Obi Wan in A New Hope, is that he was a good friend, and we never see that. Yeah, he doesn't even want him. Yeah, which is and, another reason why he should have been aged up. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense you why they're, they're brothers. Moment, right? You could and also you could have the moment where they did like where he nah, I don't like this guy, and then they can get sure they can bond. Mm-hmm. You know. The, is eight years old again. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So, well, but 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 aren't there scenes in in the next one, 
or maybe the third one. I don't know. When like you know they're they're kind of Batman and Robin going around. That's the second one. Yeah, That's the second one. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, they they have something to bond there. I mean, he's still well, he's like I'm still your master. I'm teaching you. But hey, Anna can get over there and do this and like and you know they're they're working in tandem. It seemed like like I felt there was a friendship. Okay, that's fair. Um. Yeah, we just have to agree or disagree on that. I, I do, I, like, in the movies. No, 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 no. But listen, like, listen. Like, wait, 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 wait. You said, like, yeah, I hear you. I mean, it's bullshit, but I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what you just said was dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we ain't gonna, we're not going to focus on that but right now. I understand will. that you said some words. Anyway, but... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, boy. He sure is talking. Anyway, so uh, here's, here's, here's what the real deal is, my Martin. I'm not dismissing your opinion, Martin. That's not what I'm doing right now. That's not what I'm doing. I just, we disagree. Just disagree. I disagree. Yeah, oh, I saw it. <laughs> we're, just, we're just disagreeing so. <laughs> Man, Smooth and thin too Didn't he <laughs> Trojan horse That shit <laughs> What I was going to say <laughs> Was I think they do a good job In the animated shows Of showing that relationship okay. That's when they really focus on Being brothers Or even like a father son Relationship I gotta check it out yeah. So okay. they, they do that well But if and listen If you saw that In the original movies Yeah Hey, if it worked, cool. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Yeah, and this first one, he's just so like, I don't want to deal with exactly. it. Exactly. But, but by the second one, he's like, I've been with him for a while. He's kind of a pain in the ass, but I still love him. Okay, fair. Yeah, he's like just being reckless, and you're too reckless. I'm sorry, master. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, there's other problems with that, too. Yeah, but, yeah. No, yeah, I, yeah I know. But it's like, even like how the movie ends here, it's kind of disappointing. We're just like, we're just going to do a parade and uh, line everybody I know, up. I know. Yeah, that was weird. And it, and it ends with it ends with people just like, and here's our new characters. Aren't you excited? No. <laughs> yeah, no. Where, where's, where's our Han Solo? Yeah. No, they don't have that. No, you just have these very monotone, boring, and or racist stereotypical characters. <laughs> Is Yoda, Yoda's yeah. kid? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that one guy? Oh, the white one? Yeah. Yeah, one time he had sex with a human. Yeah. Dude, like, came out bad. That's why I don't do that no more. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This right here. No more big team, right? Do you like it? I got I it. Oh, Spencer's. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> it was the last one. <laughs> it's like, why a glowing Spencer's a, ball? A, a plasma ball. It, does, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. He had that look like, uh huh. You know what's up. Yeah, you know what it is, yeah. You think I'm on these threads, right? And you think at that point, it's like, oh, little kids smile, maybe like, oh, but no, pat me. Yeah. I'm gonna f that little boy. <laughs> and that's how it ends. He's, he's, he's she, she like, like, much older, right? Yeah. There. yeah. yeah too far. See? And yeah. then it's like, where you stand? Yeah. So it just, yeah, it just kind of, it just kind of ends awkwardly. <laughs> get, get with this hero. <laughs> right, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so what, what time of these parties you see, girl? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it, it, you know, it's an odd mm -hmm. end, but I gotta say, the original Star Wars: A New Hope. I thought that ended in an odd place. The I, ceremony? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't at the time when I first saw it, mm -hmm. you know, and it was ceremony. Oh, okay, the end, the heroes won, and they mm -hmm. got, a, they got a, you know, yeah, ceremony and necklaces and all, um, medals. Except Chewbacca. Sorry, medals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, except Chewbacca. <laughs> so then we jump into the second movie, and they're like, oh, we're full into the war. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, y'all was celebrating like the war was over. And that was just... Yeah. It was just one big battle. <laughs> Shit, mm -hmm. <laughs> used to celebrating for you. Like, get, get back on it. What, right. what are you doing? So that was that was always odd to me. So okay. to see this happen here, I was like, all right, this is just how what this is what they do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess you can you can say people have been saying that. Well, it's because the the Nubians and the Gungans have always not liked each other, and now they bonded over. You know, genocide mm, and trauma okay. and shit. That's another aspect of this movie I forgot to bring up. So the racist yellow claw aliens, they're committing genocide on the Nubians. And they mention that, that they're putting them on concentration camps and we never see it. It's like you should probably show that in the movie to like really establish a threat. And they were just told. The Nubians are the frog people? The Gungans. The Gungans. The Gungans. And, and the, nu uh, the Naboo people, the humans oh, are Nubians. the, are like. Oh, yeah, I know. Nubians. Those, Nubians. Are, those are Pad Mace people. I, I was going to say, I think that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's that's what it is. So they, they're celebrating peace, but, uh, you know, okay. yeah, and also the end of genocide, which we never really saw on the planet, but, yeah, o- o- overall, it's like, listen, as I said before, of all the prequel films, there are some really good ideas here. Um, it's exploring questions that we, we want answers to, and some that we don't. Uh, it's just, at the end of the day, nothing is really executed that well. I mean, compared to the other prequel films, like, it's, it's hard to say which, which is the worst one. Like, for me, I think there are a few moments where I can look at and say, this, 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 this is pretty good. I like the fight card in this scene. I like the way this set looks. But, you know, uh, when it comes to the characters and just the, the story in general, like the Phantom Menace, I guess it's Darth Maul. I guess it's Palpatine. You don't even know what it's, what, know. what's the Menace. I, it's I the know, Sith. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I get yeah. to it, you're like, I don't know what the, what the Phantom Menace yeah, is. Yeah, remember, at the, my first watch at the end, I'm like, wait, who was the villain in this? Mm. And, and, and the, the racist uh, Nemodian people. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow claw. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's... Um, I gotta, I gotta say that I, I hate all three of them, but I did find mm-hmm. the second one more entertaining because at least he's an adult, yeah, and they have the whole thing with him not supposed to be with her, but then he's gonna be, try to be with her and all that. Uh, Padme, whatever her name is, yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's that dynamic. I'm just saying, not the little kid running around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, that's fair. I, I, I yeah. more action. In it too, I, I, I think I felt that way, but if I watched again, who knows? I know I was confused about. It being Attack of the Clones, so I was like, I can't tell if the clones are good or bad. <laughs> but yeah, there you go, chat. That was my. Uh, that was our. That was Double Toasted's Phantom Menace review. Mm. Thank you, uh, Billy, for being a part Thank of it. You, Thank man. you, Martin, for being a pill. Uh, uh, for being a part of it. Oh no, it was a, it was a pleasure. 